right so in the previous video we have seen how to uh, construct these acronym pages and uh, yeah now let's see uh, how we can uh, make indexes as well so indexing is uh, about uh, you know it's uh, for the ease of uh, navigation of the document or your publication uh, so let's say when a reader is reading your publication and uh, let's say it's quite long so most probably he won't be uh, remember each and every uh, places that it encounters uh, some sort of uh, uh, specific places right so in order to help the reader uh, you can basically index uh, those uh, important stuff uh, then uh, reader basically can go to that uh, indexes page and he can easily uh, navigate uh, to that specific uh, page uh, in your public uh, in your document right uh, so that's the use of indexes and let's see how we can uh, uh, do those stuff in latex as well but uh, as usual first you have to import a new package and uh, yeah let's add it maybe maybe over here uh, so yeah first i will come in this stuff as well so this is the uh, previous in in the previous video we have discussed about this acronym stuff so yeah i will comment this thing out so later on when you are referencing it will be easier for you and now we need a new package for indexing right and that package will be uh i make idx so this package uh, will be used to construct our uh, index page and uh, then uh, most probably this index page will be in the end of your document so let's add that index page as well uh, and you can simply specify a print index command so it will be add this index page for you I added the command as well so it will be easier for you later on when you are referring this template and uh, yeah let's make a new chapter by saying maybe indexing and uh, yeah we need the text as well so I will use this text and uh, let's say uh, I want to make this uh, lorem thing as an index uh, so all I have to do is wrap this thing with this index command so it will automatically become an index uh, so let's fill this thing uh, right uh, so I think uh, the index is lorem and uh, yeah so actually i was uh, mistakenly added that index over here so first what you have to do is you have to mention the index as lorem right so the lorem is the actual word and the index will be lorem right so make sure to add like this and let's build it again and uh, yeah most probably now it should compile No, it's still giving some errors. And uh, define control sequence in line 508. Uh, okay. Uh, so maybe instead of printing this stuff, first let's try to uh, build our document with this index then we can uh, see what's happening okay now it has been built 
and this word is now become an index as well uh, now let's try to print our indexes and uh, yeah I think uh, we have to mention about uh, several options as well so first thing actually we have to mention the title uh, in our index page so yeah let's make index first so this will construct uh, the indexes for us right uh, but later on we can uh, give some sort of uh, customized title names for our index page as well um, but yeah i will give it right now so later on you can figure out why right, what is this is about so i will name this type uh, index page as maybe alphabetical index right so this is a customized title that we have given but by default it will give this index as the title, uh, index page title but uh, we can customize that title like this as well and let's build it again and most probably now we should build and should be there right the building is completed and now you can see that uh, that alphabetical index is title of that index page and this is our uh, index so lorem has become the index so this is that specific index but uh, yeah maybe you can make this as bold font as well so whenever you are reading uh, your indexes so it will be uh, clearly it can be clearly identified uh, so yeah let's wrap this maybe this thing in text bf and let's compile it okay now you can see that this is the index and it has been mentioned in that uh, index page as well uh, so likewise you can make uh, any number of indexes you want so let me use this as an index as well uh, let's say mh and let's make it a bold font as okay. let's fill it again okay now this has become an index as well and if you go to the index page here you can see that index as well and uh, yeah likewise you can make any number of indexes but uh, yeah i don't know what are these words about right so these are just random words uh, but i just want to showcase the features right so currently you can see that uh, that index is in uh, two columns and uh, if your publication has a lot of indexes with uh, these short of terms uh, this index is will be quite long right so maybe you can make this indexes in three columns so all you have to do is uh, go to your uh, index package import and make the columns as three so over here so columns as three and let's try to build it again and let's go to the index page okay now you can see that we have three columns right uh, so that's how we can do indexing in latex and uh, likewise you can uh, check uh, other indexing features as well
and uh, yeah uh, thank you and i will see you in the next video